I tried something new here with the Elegoo Centauri Carbon, I had never printed in PL, uh, excuse me, PETG. I had some of this uh, Creality PETG, the CR PETG here that I've had for quite a while and uh, just hadn't got around to using it on the Neptune 4 Max, which sadly is just kind of sitting here now that the Centauri Carbon has arrived. Um, but I was printing some parts. Uh, one of my kids uh, has been experimenting with some archery stuff and needed a sight and a arrow rest printed for a compound bow, or, or you know, needed them. And I said, hey, let me print some. And printing in, uh, this is some Elegoo PLA right here, didn't necessarily do what I wanted. It was a little bit too brittle. So I said, okay, let me break out this uh, Creality PETG and see how it does, since it should be a little bit more flexible. I had been kind of afraid to print that on the uh, Neptune 4 Max. I just heard too many horror stories about how uh, challenging it is to set up and get, get, pr get good prints out of it. Well, I just used the generic PET profile within the Elegoo Slicer and pulled this right off of Thingiverse and printed it. And look at that. Like, it's turning out really nice. Maybe just a, a touch of wispiness here and there. But overall, like, that is a very serviceable, very usable print. And I really had to do nothing to the Elegoo Centauri Carbon to make that work. That is just blowing me away.